Here is the desk with three drawers. This drawer is outfitted differently. I'll pull it out to show the lock and a pencil pen trough. Note the mortise lock and the trough with a couple of partitions. I'll show you how to place the lock and build the trough using this blank drawer assembly. The lock will be 1 and 9 16 inch off the right edge, so I'll place a guideline for that. Grab the lock from the component dialog box. The lock is centered on the drawer front, so I'll reference off the midpoint of the drawer front. We'll use the lock to create the mortises in the drawer front. Open the drawer front for editing and pick the rectangle tool. Trace over the lock's top plate. Pick the push-pull tool and create the recess using the thickness of the lock plate. This is facilitated with the x-ray view. Next use the rectangle tool to trace over the body of the lock and create the matching mortise in the drawer front. To create the keyhole, draw a line on the green axis off the hole center. Then double click the tape measure tool on the bordering edges of the rectangular cutout. Turn off x-ray and draw a circle at the center location here. Then trace over the rectangular cutout border. Use the push-pull tool to knock out the keyhole back to the mortise face. Use the eraser to remove the guidelines. To create the trough, use guidelines to outline its shape. It's two and three quarters inches wide. And it has these one quarter inch walls on each side. And the cove cut is three quarters of an inch deep. Pick the arc tool and finally click on the depth of the guide at the guideline. Then use the line tool to trace over the rest of the profile. Double click on the profile and make it a component called trough. Edit the component and pick the push pull tool to extrude the trough across the full width of the drawer. Now to create the small partitions for paper clips or other small objects. I'll place guidelines to show the partition locations.
The partition, partitions are one eighth inch thick, so I need a saw blade cut in the trough. We'll use intersection to create the saw kerfs. Draw the profile of the saw kerf at the two locations. The saw kerf is 3 8 inch off the bottom edge of the trough. Pick the push-pull tool, tap the control key, that's option on the Mac, and extrude the shape across the trough. Triple click on the trough to select everything. Right click and pick intersect selected. Then use the eraser to clear out the kerfs. Close the component. Now we can create the 1 8 inch thick partitions by first drawing a line around the kerf border. Right click on the profile and pick Make Component from the menu. Type in the name of the partition component. Then use the push pull tool to extrude extrude the partition across the trough. Copy the partition and place in the alternate saw curve. This completes the outfitting of the drawer.